and say that in the first half of 2022 tesla has planted 3 million plus acres of forest in china in this report i'm going to tell you how tesla has benefited china cleaned the air in china during the first half of 2022 by cutting carbon emissions and where would volkswagen's herbert this best fit after leaving volkswagen we'll talk about his job prospects with tesla tesla europe toyota and gm make a guess Welcome back everyone. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Please like this video if you find the information interesting. So Tesla vehicles in China in the first half of 2022 alone reduced carbon emissions by more than 650,000 tons, equivalent to planting more than 3.2 million acres of forest. That's a lot of clean air. Tesla again for the third year in a row became a participant in the China International Fair for Trade in Services, where it shared its experience in improving efficiency and protecting the environment. Tesla cars are very popular in China, which brings huge benefits to the environment. At the event in the interview with the China Daily website, Lai Haolin, sales manager of Tesla Beijing, shared some interesting data. This is what he said. He said, according to him, actually, he said Tesla car owners in China in the first half of 2022 alone traveled more than 2.8 billion kilometers. That's 1.74 billion miles through Tesla's charging network. To fully appreciate this distance, consider that this is equivalent to about 70 times revolution, uh, revolution around the Earth. However, if we consider the environmental benefits, this figure becomes even more impressive. These trips totaling 1.74 billion miles have reduced carbon dioxide emissions by more than 650,000 tons, the equivalent of planting more than 1.3 million hectares of forest, 3.2 million acres. I wonder how many trees that can be. Howling added that in a bid to reduce the carbon footprint of raw materials and parts during shipping, Tesla's auto parts localization rate has already exceeded 95%. In addition, the localized supply chain improves delivery speed, reduces transportation costs, and supports the development of the Chinese economy. This is good news for the Chinese economy and for Tesla China to support wider adoption of electric vehicles and improve customer satisfaction. Tesla is developing a wide charging network. By August 2022, the company had over 1,200 superchargers and nearly 9,000 charge stalls in mainland China. Friends, now let's talk about Herbert Dis and his job prospects with Tesla and some other companies. Dis is officially no longer a Volkswagen employee. Effective Wednesday, uh, uh, this Wednesday, past Wednesday, the seven-year reign as CEO and chairman of the board of management came to somewhat of an abrupt end after Dis and Volkswagen decided to part ways at the end of August. These were the most rewarding seven years of my career, he said. He also said the future of our industry can be brilliant, but we have to change fast. Volkswagen has already changed tremendously and is well underway, this said. He also said we have transformed the company that was seen as an autocratic cheat in a global thought leader in clean mobility. This future remains in question for many people and while retirement is the likely option there are several routes that he could potentially go bearing any stipulation in his contract that would eliminate the possibility of working for a competitor that's not uh, an important thing while it is a long shot this has three main automakers he would likely benefit from almost immediately making an impact on several companies as his proven track record speaks for itself while we have already been in numerous discussions with various people about this possibility and even uh, thought it seems unlikely, the first company that this would benefit is, of course, Tesla. Do you agree with that? Let me know your thoughts. Not only does this share a friendship with Elon Musk, but he could also benefit Tesla's European business. This is why I said in the beginning Tesla Europe, with additional expertise on the market. Volkswagen has performed very well in Europe in terms of electric vehicles, and helping Tesla expand its operations through the continent would likely be a huge advantage for, uh, for the company. Tesla undoubtedly has a bright future in Europe, but Volkswagen currently holds the electric vehicle title there. The AG owned one, one quarter of the European plug-in market in 2021, according to Clean Technica data. Toyota is the next option. 
Uh, so we believe this has the track record to be a considerable ally to Toyota. Why? Toyota and Volkswagen have a lot of parallels and these would likely navigate through them with considerable success. Toyota is the world's largest automotive manufacturer by volume and it has been for some time. The last time a major automotive manufacturer outproduced Toyota was when GM built nearly 1 million cars more than the Japanese company in 2021. Even Volkswagen finished ahead of Toyota in terms of production that year, but it has been a masterclass in the production ever since. Volume is not the only way. The two companies are somewhat similar. Electric vehicle development is also somewhat of a parallel. Volkswagen has come in out of the diesel gate uh, crisis and has to make major waves to regain consumer trust. This knew this and pushed incredibly hard for several years to help Volkswagen reinvent its reputation as a sustainable company. Toyota really needs the same thing. Although it isn't going through an emission scandal, Toyota has basically half committed to electric vehicles aiming to go toward hydrogen and hybrid vehicles instead. It is not to say that the company hasn't contributed to sustainability in other ways. The Toyota Prius was a huge step forward in sustainable transport. Evolution needs to continue, however, and it is time for Toyota to really begin developing some high-tech electric vehicles. They're falling behind and this with his experience in high volume companies and sluggish EV plans is a good fit. I think Toyota would benefit from this to lead Toyota's electric vehicle arm. What do you think? What about General Motors? GM would also be a good fit for this simply because of his push and determination to transition a company quickly. GM is honestly a company that has so much potential, but it feels like they are falling just short of the mark in so many areas. The Bolt has plagued uh, GM with bad advertising for several years, the Hummer EV is having more issues than what were anticipated, and the company's plans for electrification seems to be one drastic announcement followed by silence and promises that they'll one day overtake Tesla. While Tesla dominates the industry now, it will eventually take a few decades for others to catch up, and they likely will. However, Tesla is establishing itself as the leader, and it is no secret. It is going to take a long time to figure out the tech and the manufacturing and the supply chain. GM will likely catch up to Tesla, but it won't be in the 2020s or 2030s. They'll all even out just as the market is now. A lot of car companies do a lot of business and it's only a matter of time before other companies begin to figure things out. GM will absolutely be a true player in the electric vehicle industry and it's just going to take some time. This is where we feel this would be a considerable asset to GM simply because he emphasized on accelerating Volkswagen's transition to sustainable energy. The goals of 2035 or more were simply not going to work. Things needed to be figured out now. And the goal is to establish yourself as an early player in the disruption of sector. Volkswagen has done that thanks to this. GM has announced more but accomplished considerably less. So what do you think, friends? Good news for Tesla, uh, cleaning the air, cleaning the air in the United States and in Europe, and also interesting prospects for Herbert Dis. Where do you think this will go? Toyota, Tesla, or GM? Or maybe another company? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you found this report interesting, please like this video. I didn't do moving pictures this time, but I'd rather to speak with you. Let me know how it feels. And uh, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Give us thumbs up and also ring the bell after you subscribe so you don't miss my next coverage. God bless you. Peace be with all of you. I'll look re uh, forward to reading your comments in the comment section below. Have a great day.